Welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca. I'm here with Wendy today, and we are going to show you a brand new machine from DeLonghi, the DeLonghi True Brew. So this is a single serve uh, grind and brew super automatic coffee maker. So it's not espresso machine, you're not going to get Americano from this, you're not going to get true espresso from this machine and also no milk beverages. Um, so we're going to go through the machine, we'll make a couple of drinks with the machine, taste test it and of course go through the specs and let you guys know what we think. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So um, first off let's go through some of the specs of the machine. So we have a bean hopper up top. Since this is grinding for just coffee, it's going to be a medium grind, but there is no grinder selection. So you can't adjust the grind size in here. You do have a bypass chute just behind the grinder here um, for your pre-ground coffee. So just like the DeLonghi Super Automatics, you can use your pre-ground for coffee, not espresso. Uh, for decaf or whatever's not in your grinder. Right, and the one thing we did notice when we were having um, a go at it before was it holds multiple scoops. A yes. lot of times they limit you to two tablespoons. This one allows you to do more. So the bigger size you get, you can put in more scoops, which is fantastic. Yeah, so since you can't adjust the strength or anything right. really with the scoop, you can adjust your strength with and the that amount might, of scoops. Yeah, and that might be a way also if you end up buying a darker coffee and you don't want to yes. put it into your grinder, you can get pre-ground darker coffee and whoever's using the bypass chute for that dark coffee is good to go. Yeah, right. because since this machine doesn't have any selections for the grinder to change your grind size, you do run the risk of clogging your grinder using a more oily bean. Right. Since we're not grinding for espresso, but it's still a medium fine grind, so you still, yeah, you could definitely get a clog in there. Yeah. But awesome. uh, yeah, bypass chute on the back there, which is fantastic. The bean hopper lid does have a nice rubber seal, so it's pretty tight there. You know what this kind of reminds me of is a Starbucks ma machine I had about 25 years ago. Oh, really? It's kind of, it's been, no, but I mean, it's very retro looking. Yeah, it reminds it me so much yeah. of that. It's great that it has a big craft and it's pretty solid. Yeah, 40 ounce craft, which is a pretty yeah, good amount of coffee. For yeah. sure. Yeah. We have water tank on the side. Um, not sure what size it is. It's at least 40 ounces though. We know that. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll measure it afterwards and we'll put the, uh, the size just on the side here. In the machine, you do have a brew unit, which is kind of interesting since it's coffee. I'm gonna turn it off actually first mm -hmm. before I pull it out. Right. You never wanna take try and take the brew group out of your machine without having on. it in the off yeah. position because it might be tilted one way or the yeah. other. And then you'll whoop, break it. Right. It's just powering down. Yeah. So inside the machine here, there we go. <laughs> it's just clicked in with a magnet. You've got your brew unit inside here. So just like on a espresso machine to remove it, just press the red buttons and pull it out. Right. So and I wonder then, if they're gonna have information available to people about how often to rinse that out too. I know on the super automatics, it's every one to two weeks. Yes. Depending on usage and you just wanna rinse that and air dry it. And we'll, we'll try and get that information for you also. Yeah, I, I, I would assume that it would be similar. Right, yeah, okay. Hopefully, yeah, mm -hmm. sounds about right. Um, inside your drip tray as well, just in the back, since this is a brew unit, it is tamping the ground coffee, just like a super automatic espresso machine, which is kind of interesting. So you do have some ground pucks inside and they will dispense there after being brewed through. And um, it's not held together like a puck no, because it's, it's not. not espresso, No, right? it's not. It's, um, yeah, there's no form in there. It's just the waste, the coffee waste goes in there. But it does pack it together. Which and when we're brewing a coffee, we noticed something um, very interesting. Uh, because this has an automatic on, so it can brew your cup of coffee or pot of coffee first thing in the morning for you. Um, with the super automatics, you're always, uh, it's always rinsing into the cup. And we always thought, well, you have to get up and replace the yeah. cup anyways. But this does um, Puts rinsing. Puts it right inside, right behind the drip tray. So it's not going into your drip tray. If you have it for the auto on, it's not going to rinse into your mug. It's just gonna rinse in behind the machine, which is fantastic and a really nice feature that they should put in super automatic espresso machines. I thought it was fantastic. Yes. I was quite impressed by People that. People love an auto on feature, but mm -hmm. it's not really auto on if you have to stand there and replace the mug. Right. So 
Um, this Recall. also has a little drop down tray. Just so want to see if these fit. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And it has a um, little grid here, so if you're using, it's not going to move your mug around or anything like that. This is not Doesn't movable. drop down. So you can't move this down for your larger or your smaller mugs if they're just sitting on the metal tray. Mm -hmm. You would have to use this one, or maybe you're just getting the splashes. We'll brew for you and we want to see how rattly it is when it's grinding and brewing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, little scoop for the uh, bypass if we didn't show you that guy. And it is a relatively big machine as well. I think I measured it at about 16 and a half inches high, about 13 and a half inches deep. And it was just over seven inches in width, but we'll put the, um, the actual up, numbers yeah. just on the side there for you. I'm excited to get going on this and see how it tastes. I know, me too. I'm interested to see um, with the grind size, how the coffee tastes because different coffee origins need different grind sizes. Mm. So I'm kind of curious to that. Yeah, so also, whoop, there's spilling beans all over the place. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Just throw it over there. So if you put too much in, you'd have to vacuum it out. It's not easy to pop um, yeah. the hopper on and off as well. No, you can't get into the burrs either. So if you do end up having any kind of clog, you will have to have it a, a technician have a look at it because you can't get into that machine there. Um, so yeah, we'll power it on. It is off right now, but we do have the clock there, which is nice. So you can hear it powering up now. We went through all the settings um, to change the clock and also um, put on the uh, auto on function and it allows you to choose what beverage and what time you want it to come on at and that wasn't difficult at all. No, no, right? not at all. Yeah, and it's um, the auto on feature is great, especially if you are using the pot. I mean, it does power up really fast. So if you want to have your cup of coffee, to, yeah. just make sure that you're up and it's not sitting there for five minutes or so. So that's it warming up. Yeah. So there we go. Yep. So it's set it's right now fast. for eight ounce and gold cup standard. Gold cup standard being the right amount of time at the right temperature. So yep. we haven't uh, changed um, anything to do with, well, you're not changing the grind setting, so I don't no. know. No, it, it, yeah, I think it would change the dose amount, but I'm not sure. We'll have right. to look into that one. Yep. Um, this is not SCA certified, but it is uh, ECBC certified. Let me make sure I got that. It's ECBC certified, which is the SCA of uh, Europe. Europe. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. So it's going to brew at the right temperature with the right grind amount in the right amount of time. So it okay. goes through those those tests and everything like that. Um, Do you yeah. think it can't get uh, the other certification because it's not brewing through a filter? I wonder if that's the reasoning behind that. Oh, it could be. Hmm. Yeah. Can I hit Bruno? Yeah, go ahead. Want to listen to it? It's a little loud. Not bad. Nope. It didn't grind for very long either, which is nice. Hmm. Yeah, we're used to listening for espresso yeah, grind. Yeah, because so. it's so fine, it needs to go. Yeah. Mm. So I noticed here it has um, espresso. Yeah. So that's going to be, you said four or five bars it's of a, pressure? It's somewhere between four and five bars of pressure. So it does change the brewing, the way it brews when you're on espresso style. Um, it, it was actually quite tasty and it did have a nice crema on top, which was mm -hmm. I was pretty surprised about actually. Well, we can have a go after, yeah. but I just wanted to uh, try um, for coffee snobs if you hadn't realized the, yeah. that here at ECS Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so we're always excited when things are brewed on a machine and we have a sip and it tastes delicious. So. Since this does do the espresso style, it um, if you have some a household that wants drip coffee, which we know people want drip coffee from their super automatic. We do. You can get that drip coffee and also get espresso. You just don't have a milk option, so having a separate milk frother on the side would be your way to get your cappuccino or your latte in the morning, which is an easy fix to that, because then you can just combine them into the one mug. So this is the um, non-crema coffee. It still looks like it has a tiny Slight. bit on there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. It's full body, so there must be a dark bean in here. Well, our I, dark. I, yeah. Which, which is, is not still, very oily. Still more medium dark. Yeah. It's actually a full body cup of coffee. That's good. Yeah. Nice. It's 
so that's good. Yes, I just won't have any. Well, oh, you can try the espresso. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going through the sizes here, we have the espresso, which is gonna brew at three ounces. We have the eight ounce cup of coffee, 12 ounce, 16 ounce. So all three of those are just your regular cups of coffee. Then you also have the 24 ounce, so that would be good for a travel mug or somebody that needs like a lot of caffeine in the morning. <laughs> and then of course your full pot. Mm -hmm. So there are two styles of this machine. There is a pot version and a non-pot version. If you're looking at grabbing this machine and you want, you do want to do a pot at some kind, at some point, point in time, time mm -hmm. um, the pot version would be the one for you. The other version, has no ability to do the pot. It's not compatible with the pot. You don't have the pot function on it. You do have, it's, I mean, like we saw, it's pretty fast. So if you wanna just make back-to-back -back coffees, that's perfectly fine as well. But to have that full pot in the thermal carafe, um, this model is the one for you. Otherwise, you're just gonna omit the, the carafe option here. Right. So yeah, let's do our espresso. So we'll click through our sizes. We're gonna go all the way up and then once over to espresso. We'll stay on the gold and then we'll just click brew. I burnt my tongue. Hot? Yeah. We didn't even have it at the hottest setting, I don't think. There's different no, temperature we had it settings in the here too. Yeah. yeah. Different temperature settings and um, you of course can set your water hardness and everything like that as well. Mm -hmm. So if you like an extra hot cup of coffee, this is this yeah. is good. Yeah. Be careful you don't burn your tongue. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can, it sounds different actually. It's pulsing. Yeah. And it's, it's waiting, we're probably doing the pre-infusion. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. So I wonder if it could be an Americano if you did this and just added your own hot water on the side oh, from your kettle. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm actually pretty surprised at the crema there. And we don't even have an espresso roast in here. It's just a coffee bean. Yeah. No, no Robusta, so. Nope. Look at, that's amazing. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah it is. You want to give it a snack? <laughs> The oh, crema on there is really good. That's amazing. I'm actually very impressed. Wonder what it would look like if there was an espresso bean in there. We need to try that. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be it's hot. Mm. Yeah, it has the same consistency as as an espresso. It's just not the right bean for. It's an just espresso. not the right bean for an espresso. Yeah. But I'm. Yeah, that's impressive, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, people sometimes get confused. They think Pretty an cool. espresso bean has to be dark. It's just a roaster profile, so that's what we're talking about when we're yeah, saying exactly. this is um, not an espresso bean. No, but it does speak to the fact that you could put any bean down this grinder, preferably not oily beans, um, and still get, get an, nice es crema. an espresso and a nice crema. Yeah, absolutely. I'm interested to see what the light tastes like on an eight ounce. I'd like to taste the difference between the two. Okay. 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 Oh, and then, oh, so you also have over ice. We'll do, um, we'll do an over ice one too, because I think it changes the brewing style like they do on the super automatics. So it'll be more of a pulse. It, like, slows slows it, down. it down. So I'm curious. So we'll, we'll grab some ice and we'll brew one of those too. Mm -hmm. uh, where was I? Oh, there we go and go to light. All right, so we'll brew that. Do you want me to go grab some ice? I was gonna, I'll go grab it. No, I'll go get it, I'll okay. put it in here. Thanks. Be back. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you still have a little bit of that crema. So I'm almost wondering if maybe it does brew it with bars of pressure on every drink, so. But. Yeah, that's good. It's definitely lighter in body, which is nice, but uh, yeah, the light style, still good. All right, welcome back. We got some ice, so now we're going to do the over ice option. Let's do, I think an eight ounce 
We'll be good in here with the ice. We'll see. We'll, we don't we'll know we'll how. We'll we don't know we'll what see. temperature it comes out at. Yep. So. Um, and we'll do gold. Always gold. Gold is gold. All right, and brew. Oh no, sorry. We're going over ice. My bad. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay, now let's see what it does. Maybe not. Well, let's see. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, no, it's long. Gold oh, over ice. So you have to, so you do select the gold or whatever it is, and then you select over ice. Yeah. I just okay. kept clicking it to both lit up. There we go. No need for manual, throw no. it away. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so. It pours pretty fast. It is pouring pretty fast. On the Super Autos, it, it slows it right down. And it's just it like really, a trickle. Yeah. But I guess since it doesn't have the, um, the same no, brew it's group. it's hot. It's hot. Look at that steam well, coming Well, you can out. see the steam. Yeah. That's why it's weird. Okay. Okay, you, that was, this is one for you to try. I don't like coffee over ice. I don't really either, but. So, yeah, it melted all the coffee. I wonder how cold it is, though. I don't know. You meant ice? my fingers in there. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, it melted a bunch of the ice. What did I say? Coffee. It melted a bunch of the coffee. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's cold. I'll sip out of this okay. side. Let me see. It's not bad, actually. That's enjoyable. Mm. It's pretty smooth. It, it is. It does a, Delonghi yeah. does a fantastic job with their over ice. I just, we hadn't experienced it with no, the coffee machine. We've done it with the espresso, which turns it into more of a nice Americano, yeah. but this is. It's quite, it's soft. Quite enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, it is. It yeah. is. I like it. Go. It's nice. Mm. Anything else? Um, that is pretty much it in all honesty. We've got a uh, descaling mode here. So if you need to run through a descaling cycle, it will light up over here. On top, you've got a bunch of warning lights. So you've got your your normal water tank is empty, um, drip tray not fitted. So you can see here that that one's lit up. Mm -hmm. It's a nice sturdy craft. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So you don't only uh, just get the craft for the extra hundred dollars. It it opens up all the, the options too, right? So we went over the fact that you can't just order a craft. Oh yes, the other yes, one? Yeah. yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's all you're adding on is the carafe option. Mm -hmm. You're not, all of the other options on the other model are the same, so you'll still have the over ice option. You'll still have the three different light gold and bold for your brewing style. And of course the bypass scoop as well. You just don't have the craft or the compatibility to do a craft, even that, if it was It's solid. a solid machine. It is solid, yeah, yeah. It's, it's hefty, for I like sure. It. I do too. Um, it's pretty, it's fast, the coffee was nice. It was hot, which is amazing. And this is being launched when? Uh, March 1st, today. March. Because today is Today's March 1st. First. <laughs> because, I was like, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> so the video is launched. I know, okay. I did it with the, with the product. Yeah. Wendy, you, you know our videos aren't live, right? <laughs> We're not live streaming. <laughs> I know, but I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it launches March 1st. Um, which is today. <laughs> which is today. So that's the machine. It is great for people that have been using a single serve and want to transition into a super automatic espresso machine, mm -hmm. but maybe don't want to spend all that money and still want to have access to their drip coffee because there's no waste. Right. It's, there's no plastic pods, nothing. Right. You just put the And it didn't taste plasticky, whole, which is great. It didn't taste plasticky, yeah. freshly ground. And you have all of these different single serve sizes as well as the full pot, which is is very nice. You don't get that with all of the other coffee brewers with the grinder on board. Right. All right. That's pretty much it. Super easy to program, easy to set up as well. You basically turn it on, it rinses itself and you're ready to go. You just need to have a cup there, give everything a wash when you're setting it up. So right out of the gate, yeah, super easy operation. I like the color um, icons on the screen here, right. with the little sensor touch buttons. It's, rem it's reminding me kind of of the new Evo launch. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, stainless steel body. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. All right. Do you want to do the outro? No. No. <laughs> I, I'm going to quite enjoy this. <laughs>
Oh, watching geez. me struggle through this. Thanks. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> you can comment below. <laughs> and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with us. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next Thanks time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. That was not too bad. <laughs>